To God be the glory, and welcome to this, your real illuminating moment. I'm O.W. Prince. I find it disgusting that many believers practice the idolatrous, wicked, and blasphemous behavior of intentionally monetizing and profiting off of the suffering, death, blood, and gospel message of the Son of God. That was not the practice of the true apostles of the Lord Jesus Christ, who were anointed by God himself to set the standard of holiness among the saints of God in our relationship with God and with each other, as well as to establish what would be permitted or prohibited in the earth as well as in heaven. To deny this fact is to admit that you are deceived and in desperate need of repentance and salvation. Yet, from our earliest memories of attending a Christian church and of our earliest experience of becoming a Christian, we were indoctrinated and taught to go through certain rituals, traditions, and teachings, and studies, and standardize the rudiments of Christianity, and adhere to the ever-changing appearances and imagery of Christianity in order to answer God's calling on our lives and in order to serve the kingdom of God. We were taught to seek approval, authority, acceptance, employment, certification, licenses, and gratification from the Christian entity or church into which we were indoctrinated and taught not to question them, but to worship and obey them instead of God. We were idolaters. Let's just admit it. We worshiped the church. We worship the doctrines of the church and we worship the name of the church and we were idolaters and we sacrifice our salvation on Satan's altar of profit, money, wealth, self-gratification, applause, and popularity. We aren't worthy of being saved. We are filthy, vile creatures who have blasphemed against the name of of the Lord. That is why I always say that we better be grateful and keep looking up because if justice plumbed the line, we wouldn't even make good smoke in the fires of hell. We had better be grateful and keep looking up and we had better repent. I'm O.W. Prince and this has been our real illuminating moment and is always imparting many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivers us out of them all life indeed hurts but God heals thank you God to God be the glory keep looking up and repent